A flood of emotions as students at White Bear Lake High School South Campus poured out their building Friday demanding change. I have people telling me I look like a clown because I, my hair is red and I have an afro. This walkout was sparked by the discovery of an anonymous Instagram page and chat room targeting students of color at the school. Many of the posts so disturbing we can't show them to you here. Students were called the N-word, dog, and one person wrote, they hope the black students die like George Floyd. And looking at some of the comments that were left and directed toward these students, I mean, they are, they're disgusting. It is and absolutely I couldn't Im disgusting, disheartening. I mean, it's almost sickening. It makes you sick to your stomach. Brandy Tucker is with Visual Black Justice and a mom who helped students assemble this march. No justice! A march that brought out people of all colors and backgrounds, even former students like James Gruey, who says he was too scared to speak up before. I'm an Asian, Asian and Mexican American, and for people to say racist stuff towards us because of what we eat, of how they perceive us, is so wrong too. This is not the first, second, third. While calling for accountability, the students also called out the principal, asking why more hasn't been done despite persistently reporting these problems. Obviously, we haven't do it, done a good enough job yeah. because, in your mind, it hasn't been good enough. So it's we need to take a, we need we need to take a closer look at what we're doing, and we need to do it much better. We need to do better, and we will do better. We spoke with the superintendent, Dr. Wayne Kazmierczak, who echoes that sentiment. You know, I think we're in the, we're in the process of. Of, of doing some good work, but I, I don't think we're moving fast enough. And you may not think that you're racist, but what you're doing is racist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These students say the first course of action is finding out who's behind those recent racist Instagram posts. School district leaders in the White Bear Lake Police Department say they are working quickly to find out who's responsible. In White Bear Lake, I'm Lorenzo Hall, CARE 11 News.